Oh, someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. even that much of my time branded my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway do you think you could please me Clive you're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... 
Why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the Holy Capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> oh, however do they get that color? Are you gonna buy something or not? doing tut tut we cannot have people thinking i tolerate disobedience from my branded the men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are but it's not as if i can hide it from the moment you acquired it that brand has done naught but take but today it is going to give you exactly what you want just play along Madame, back to the Vale already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates. 
My lady, I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Start here. Excuse me, you there? The gentleman with the sword? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. No one's allowed through the gate in here. You say these are all from Dalmechia? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard, but this here will make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflam's finest, just as promised. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package 
Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. What did you say was in these pies again? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that? They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Perfumed cigars and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. you see anything you like? I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. Come back again. The markets are up there. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals. Even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me.
sergeant's got it in for us. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Not this time. Right. So you know one end of a... Me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Is that a bearer? Win the dame's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? The 
Emperor's fine. Yeah, on second floor? Maybe don't mention this to Maybe a surly We wouldn't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Extra drills, he said. Heard the bones fell favourably. To the veil, then. Yeah. What do you think? I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, Simple fare cost little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom, a freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. I heard the bones fell favorably. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. 
Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. from me. Dark, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Here. Yeah. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. If the dame has given you her trust, and you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she... Say anything to you before. Before she went missing. 
only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the bay. That's the day done then. Heard the bones fell favourably. To the Vale, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Most likely. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. They may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? You see it too, then? Not just me bleary eyes playing tricks on me. 
If you mean the wave stopped at full crest, then yes, I do. How could I miss the bleeding thing? That's enough for today, Branded. to be done. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. And with a little luck, someone might have seen her. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. The fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. You weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But 
old though it was, an antique it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, yeah, he was a jealous sod. I couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <sighs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. 
Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatienne by.